Hey guys, you're watching Zivon and Lonely. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Let's Build a City, episode 133. And I have a confession to make. This episode is being recorded straight after uh, I've just finished recording episode 132. I'm addicted to this house, I want to carry on building. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're just continuing straight on, I'm afraid. Uh, we're going to work on the ground floor on this level, try and get the whole ground floor in. Maybe a bit of the pool done, you guys are very excited about. Uh, the pool, I got that from uh, the first episode here. What block were we using? We were using stone, weren't we, for this bit? They've got the same bar blocks on my hotbar. This is literally straight after. Straight after recording the first episode. Uh, second episode, sorry. So we're going to come down here. Now this bottom floor is going to be quite interesting because it's going to mostly be like a walkway. Like underneath it. Really, really interesting sort of um, idea here. But you can start to s possibly see how it's going to work. It's going to sort of be on stilts, sort of not be on stilts. Only up to a certain amount. We're not going to go all the way around. Just see if we've got like a... Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> how do I do that? How am I so lucky when it comes to stuff like that sometimes? Not all the time. I'm not always that lucky. But sometimes we can be like incredibly lucky. Is it? Are we lucky here as well? Yeah, look. Two block gap as well. It's it's crazy how fortunate I can be sometimes when doing a house. Now, do we want to just go to there or do we want to go... Let's go to here. Let's go to here. I don't know if we're going to be lucky again, though, about this whole sort of too wide thing. Yes. Uh, no, we're not. No, because this has got to go there. We're not lucky this time. That's okay. We can have a, a wider one there if we want. Or we could just end it off. Yeah, let's just end it off. I think I think it'll look better. If we end it off there, then we can always go into a different block. Let's sleep away the night time. Already. And then the bottom floor here, we're going to use hmm, probably this sandstone. I'm really liking this sandstone at the minute. So we'll drag this. Oops, not there. We'll drag this back. Keep it in line with the balcony above. Like this. So we'll come down here. Let's get this corner down. You know where we are then. This is a bit thin. Okay, that's okay, because it widens up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the um, where the jacuzzi is going to be. So we can always have this, I don't know, like a straight shot down to there. And then you can probably have a little bit of a funky shape like that. That works well. I like that. And then we could probably bring this out all the way to the edge here. Or let's go one block back, and then we keep a little bit of um, dimension to the build, don't we, then? Let's get rid of the glass. Up like that. Yeah, and then it drops back a little bit. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then, can you see how that's going to turn out now? Um, you know, if this is all one solid wall, put some windows in. Let's work out where the windows are going to be. That's a pretty important thing to do while you're going along. So that's going to be like that. So we can have two, two wide windows there. We want a door down here, possibly, as well. We've got a lot of doors in this place. Like a serious amount of doors. We've got the front door. We've got the back door. We've got this door. We've got this door. We're going to have a door there. Really nice. A lot of access. So, a window there. We can put this here. This there. Now, do we want the windows in the middle here? Yep. We might as well, seeing as that's perfectly laid out. Two wide windows. I'm, I really like two wide windows. It's just a... Just one of my sort of pet things. Too wide, too wide by three high. Always looks good. Always looks good. And I'm going to take this away. I had to think about this bit. I'm going to take this away. And instead, I'm going to put a quartz slab upside down there. So it gives us half a block taller to walk under. But yeah, we can still get the floor in. Um, for this floor, if you know what I mean. Uh, like this. That's the level of the floor. Oh, is it? No, that's the level of the floor. Okay, even better. Even better. That's fine. We'll carry on. Ignore me. <laughs> Ignore me. Let me close this down on here. Um, there we go. So, on the back here, let's carry on going round. So, I've got this balcony level. It would be really nice to get a little bit of brick down here as well. Because we, we, we're trying to keep an even amount of sandstone, uh, stone, brick... And a bit of blue in sort of here and there to give a little bit of colour. 
it's it's a delicate balance, but if we get it right, it's going to look really, really good. Let's come up there. Yeah, 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 that works. Because this is all be hidden. See how this has like a half a gap block that we can't fit anything in? Apart from, obviously, if we put those slabs there. It won't matter from the outside for the moment. Because as you can see, from the outside now, it all matches up. Fine, no problem. What if we put this there? That works quite well, doesn't it? That looks quite nice. We'll go for that for the minute. Okay, now I'm going to take this one away though. I'm going to put brick here because we want some brick in now and again. Maybe we can have three brick. Try and keep this in line. So we've got three brick and then we'll have like this in. And then we'll have three brick. Or two brick. Two bricks. And then we'll have another pillar in. Whoops. Get rid of that block. Like that. Aha, aha, aha. And then there's going to be a pillar in line with this window. And then we've got another pillar here to match up to the other side. And then it's three bricks on that side. Okay, so that's now symmetrical. We can fit some really nice windows in there. I like the look of that. We don't want any windows on the side here. We can have windows in there. If we get this block to go underneath there. And then... Yeah, this is all brick here. Brick, brick, brick. Brick. Nope. <laughs> brick, brick, brick. Working in a really tight space here. Let's get some windows in. Yeah. So the windows go all the way up to the ceiling level on this ground floor. I'm pretty sure that we've got a really nice uh, room height on both of the levels that we've got so far. Because as, as you can see on this level, it's from here to there. Which is a pretty good height. I like that. And then the ground floor is from there to there. So I think it's even the same block height, which is really nice. That works well. That works well. Okay, so we've got to there. Which is a perfect part now to drop back the same as this side to a little bit of sandstone. Maybe maybe all the way along to the edge. Like along to here. And then we can have like a, a blue corner going all the way down. Ooh. Ooh. Ideas. Ideas are flowing now, guys. Ideas are flowing. Let's bring that all the way to the edge. And then bring this one. That's a corner. I always like to put the corners in because then you can really easily see the shape of the building. Really easily. So that's like that. No windows on on that side. We don't want too many windows in the place. We've already got a lot of windows. But we could potentially put a window in there if we wanted one. It's got there and up there. Do we want any windows in the middle here? Let's back off a little bit. And now, do we want a window there? No, I don't think we do. I think I think it'd look better if this was like a full backed up wall. And then you need to give yourself, when you're building a house, you definitely need to remember to leave yourselves with just blank walls. Because then on the inside, you have the potential to put like um, uh, libraries or shelves or kitchens or stairs. Uh, depending on how you're doing your walls. So it's, uh, it's, it is an important thing to remember. Uh, otherwise you're going to end up having some real big troubles. Uh, with nowhere to put any shelves. Uh, nowhere to put bookshelves. Nowhere to put uh, cookers or sinks or bathrooms or showers. Or toilets. Uh, if you have a window on every single level. So a bit of a handy tip that some people might forget about. Until they get halfway through the building. And then, and then it's usually really too late. Okay, I like how this like part of the building is actually going all the way through. I am going to put in a nice three high window there though. And then maybe oops. Maybe a two high window there to match up with that one. That looks pretty nice. I like that. Now we're getting to the point where we've got to tie everything together. So, do we go with blue here? Like all the way down like like continue it from the first floor up to the second floor or ground floor up to the first floor. I always get confused with that. I'm sure you guys know what I mean when I say first floor. I mean the bottom floor, even though that's technically called the ground floor. It's just as confusing to me as it is to you, I'm sure. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, you know, what are you talking about, AJ? You don't know how to build. <laughs> Let's go up here. 
I put I put a little bit of a a sandstone sort of partition in the middle there. Let's go with a two high a two by two to match that floor as well. Yeah, a little bit of a partition in there just to break up all the brick because brick is a very boring block on its own. If you put a lot of this together, it doesn't look that great in Minecraft. This texture pack does help though. In the default texture pack, I hate the look of brick sometimes. You know, I think I've made it work on Zonocraft a little bit, but in general, it's really, really hard. Okay, let's just stand back and have a look at this. I'm really liking that so far. So we've got the second floor in already. I really want to get this pool worked out. I really, really do. So let's grab this block. Let's grab these stairs. Oh, I wanted them next to each other. That doesn't matter. And let's bring this down here. Hmm. And then we can either drop it down. Well, hmm. Let's go around this front. Okay. Let's work it out slowly. The slower we do it, the more chance we have of making it look good at the end. So let's go also around this edge. Yeah. Go around this edge. Just to give it a little bit of a, a border up to the pool. Well, no, we don't want to do that because then you're going to have the possibility of getting stuck underneath it if you're swimming in the pool. Yeah, let's remove that again. It was an idea. It was an idea. There we go. Take that away. We've got that going around there. That's fine because then the pool can go up to this level here, like all the way down, if we get the um, wood back again. We didn't use much wood in the main build. We've used it on this pool area, and that's been it. And I think I like that idea. We can always add some of this spruce wood when we do the third floor, or the second floor, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm getting myself confused now with floor levels, names, and stuff like that. Um, it's up to you. I mean, you don't have to build this house exactly if you are building it on your own uh, Xbox or PlayStation or, or on PC. Uh, you know, you don't have to do things exactly the same. Uh, take a bit of a mix, you know, take some of my ideas, take some ideas that you've seen from other places, and you'll end up with something that looks completely different to both of, or all the people that you've taken inspiration from, but still looks amazing. It's got, like, the, the best parts from this house, the best parts from other houses, the best parts of previous houses that you've built in the past, and you bone them all together into one building, and it'll look really good. What do you guys think of having a window that goes from the pool to the inside of the house? Because we've got windows that go from the outside into the pool. We could have a window here that goes into the house. I'm really liking that idea. Like, maybe one big wide one. I know it's dark. I'll sleep away the night in a second. Let's add another one there. Whoops. Let's add that one there. I think I like that idea. Let's sleep. And I'll get some glass while I'm sleeping. Oh, la, la, la. Boop. Uh, what do you guys think? Let's put the glass in. I'm using full glass blocks and not glass panes because otherwise the water can look a little bit funny. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, and that looked good from the inside as well. Also, before I forget, on... No, I like that. No, I like how it is. Ignore me. I was thinking about sort of changing something, but I've decided against it. Let's put these windows in quickly. Now, what block do we want... Oops. What block do we want to use for the bottom of the pool? We need to get this right, because it's a pretty integral part of this house, this, this sort of um, first story pool, swimming pool. Uh, so it needs to look really, really nice. I'm liking the wood. The wood's a great block choice. And we'll be able to detail this up uh, later on. Uh, in the progression of this house, but I've got hiccups. But for now, that would be okay. And let's, um... Yeah, let's finish the pool off at this level. So we'll go up there. Now, now is the interesting part about getting getting the stairs that to drop into it. Hmm. Well, first step, I think we're going to have to remove this window. And the reason for that is the stairs are going to cover up the window otherwise. So, do we use stairs or do we, like, gen gently drop it down with slabs? We could probably gently drop it down with slabs, like that. We've got to put another block underneath it. It's going to be a little bit of a void area for the moment, but I'll remember to open it up when we do the inside. Just for now. That'll go there. For a shallow a bit. Yeah, and it's still above those windows. And if we take this away... Drop this down 
to the same height. I think that's the height that we had that at, didn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. And then we'll bust that glass out. Put that there. And then come up here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This will also give us a little bit more room on the inside because we can obviously bust all this out, look. And that gives us a little bit more space on the inside here. Like this. Yeah, so it gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more block space. Nine more block space, in fact, than what we had previously. Aha, uh -huh. like that. And then, do we want to have like a, a thinner area? Wait, let me get the water bucket ready, okay? So then, if we have the water on this level, we could have a thinner or shallow area here, just for a few blocks, like this. We have to take that window out as well. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about taking these windows out. It'll still look good at the end. So we'll remove those. And then we're going to have to go one more block. And then probably another one, in fact, aren't we? Oh, another two? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's good. Whoops. And that here. Splash me. Make it a bit quicker. So we've got the shallow part of the pool that you can sort of walk through, dabble your feet through, and walk back up that way. And then we've got the deeper part down here. And this mm, this deeper part, though, you might end up getting stuck underneath here. You know what? That'll be okay. That'll be okay. The people with the house are very responsible. What do we want for the ground floor or, or for, the, the, for the bottom of the pool? Do we want to go for another wood color? Do we want to go for a quartz? Do we want to go for a bedrock? Oh, that's gravel. Where was bedrock? I always lose it on this texture pack. There it is. Bedrock and a light colour block. Bedrock and marble? Or endstone? I call it marble. It looks so much like a, a big old chunk of marble. That could work. Bedrock and marble. Yeah. Yeah, and then we'll have like a pattern in bedrock. So when you look at it from bird's eye view, you get this like uh, cool pattern in. Let's try and work out a cool pattern. So that's three blocks, three blocks, three blocks three blocks like that and then I don't know I'm just trying to do a bit of a funky shape here oops like this and then it's hard doing an odd number funky shape isn't it doesn't make things easy um that there that there no nope, it still doesn't work does it where's my grass <laughs> replace this back for a minute uh, replace that back. Replace that back. It's still there. There. Hmm. Well, that's a start. And then if we put one there, there. Hey, okay. not many pools have this, but they they do have like little patterns sometimes in the floor. So that's that's what I'm trying to get. But odd numbers are really really hard to work with. Let's get some lights as well down here. Some glowstone. Uh, or redstone lamp, sorry, not glowstone. And then we'll put in one. I think we only need one lever, don't we? No, we don't. We need two levers. Like that. If we'd done it upside down, we we could have used one lever. But not going to make a difference. Not going to make a difference. That goes there, that goes there. And then we can have one there. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. there. And then two more. How did you guys get in here? You weren't in here a minute ago. No chance. Get out. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. So yeah, give a little bit of light from when you're looking down into the pool. Might do some lights underneath there as well. Possibly. Maybe even some wall lights. We can probably put some wall lights in here. Look. One, two, three. Like that. If we put a, a block in. Will that do all three? It should do, shouldn't it? Not there, apparently. Oops. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, um, and let's have a block going around the outside as well. A different block. Uh, let's go with... Hmm... A stone brick could work. Stone brick could definitely work. Okay, so I'm going to put this around the outside. And I'm going to fill in the rest with the end stone to look like marble. I should do that and I should be right back. Get out of the way, sheep. Okay, that looks pretty cool. I'm liking that. Oh, wait a minute. I've deleted one too many bedrocks. I didn't even notice that. Put that back. Right there. 
There. I like that. Yeah, it actually works out really, really well. So, let's put the water down. Uh, we're going to have to place down, like, an inconspicuous block that I know to delete. Let's just use a diamond block for now. Okay. We're going to have to place this down on this level first. Otherwise, the water, we're not going to be able to get all the water in. I'm sure you guys, if you've built a pool before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here. But you're going to have to place the water on top of these blocks and then delete the water away again. So, go along here. I collected another chicken as well while I was doing that. There's another chicken. I got two chickens, like, and a sheep. They weren't there when we started doing that bedrock, I'm sure. Pretty sure. I'm going to go back in the footage and have a look. I'm pretty sure that that wasn't there when I started laying them. Let's put that there. And then put the water down. Oops, that's not water. That's a splash potion. <laughs> put the water down. All we're going to do is do two two walls and then that should all fill up by itself. That should do it. Doop. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, there's a little bit at the end here. Just place that there. Wonderful. That's pretty cool. And then we'll take this back out again. Careful now. I'm flowing downwards. I'm flowing downwards. Oh, okay. I'm on the ground floor now. Ah, uh, this is going to look cool. This is the part of the house that I was really excited for. I don't think on the whole world we don't have a swimming pool that isn't on, like, the ground. I think this is the first one, and possibly the only one. We don't want to do it too often. We want to keep it special, don't we? So we don't want to do too many of them. Go on, drown, sheep. Yes! How cool does that look? That looks so cool. Um, maybe a little diving board in somewhere? Let's get this glass in. Like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We could possibly put a little diving board, like, on this edge. Makes it look a little bit more like a pool, doesn't it? If we do it like that. Oops. One, two, three. Go underneath it. There we go. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That looks pretty cool to me. And then we can get some little sun lounges there on the front balcony, the main balcony bit. That looks pretty cool. Okay. Let's finish off how long we've been recording for. Let me check. Uh, we're doing okay for time, actually. Let's um, let's do the garbage door. Let's sleep away the night and then do the garbage door. Oh, I cleared my inventory. That's okay. Can I sleep yet? No, I can't. Okay, let's get our garbage door stuff. We're going to use that block. We're going to use that block. We're going to use a tripwire hook because they always look nice. And we'll probably end up using some quartz slabs as well. Can I sleep yet? Should be able to. Thank you. <sighs> Why do I always make the yawning sound whenever I sleep in Minecraft? I even do it off camera as well when I'm not recording. I just go... <sighs> okay, thank you, sir. This block goes in the middle. This is a really nice garage door look, I think. Uh, let's go with some glass. In fact, replace these ones with... Whoops. With this block. You won't be able to tell from the inside once we're finished as well. There's a reason for that, because I'm going to take this out, replace that with glass, and then put that there. Or, upside down stairs will give a better effect, I think. Yeah! That's a pretty cool garage door. And the little catch goes on there. Yes, definitely. There's your garage door, guys. Uh, maybe a cobblestone wall going up either side of it. One up there, one up there. Um... Chiseled one? Ooh, ooh, I like that. Maybe with a button on it as well. Button there, and a button there. We'd probably do it at the bottom as well. That could look quite nice. And then we'll have button there, button there, button there, button there, button there, button there. Whoops. Like that. Back off. Yes! That looks nice. I like that. So we've got the garage door, we've got the pool in, we've got the ground floor done. <coughs> That's something that I was really, really excited to do. We've got the plan for it, at least. Uh, as I said, I'm going to let you guys know in the... Co or I'm going to sort of judge from you guys in the comment section below, but I'm thinking about leaving this mansion for the for one episode and we'll go away and we'll build something else somewhere in the world, and then we'll come back here for another couple of episodes and then go away. But I did say it last episode, but obviously I've continued straight on after <laughs> last episode uh, to record this one, because I'm just excited about doing this. Uh, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm really, really liking that house. Uh, if you're enjoying it, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye!